Hey, how's it going? Yeah, not bad, you? Yeah, good. Can you believe I'm talking to you through a watch? Hi all, I'm Shane Bow, and I am really excited about today's video. I have a TickWatch Pro 3 LTE to talk about today, so thanks Mobvoi for sending me this. Um, it was just released to the news yesterday. I got it yesterday. Um, and it's just brilliant to be kind of like into technology and have something that is in no one else's hands really. Um, just feels like a massive turning point for the whole channel here on YouTube as well. So a big thank you to everyone that supported me and pressed that subscribe button and liked and commented. It just, just means that I've got this to review today. So thanks loads. And if you haven't already pressed subscribe, then press subscribe and follow this journey we are on. So the video is gonna go like this. We're gonna look at the box up close. We're gonna unbox it. We're gonna look at the watch up close. We're gonna try it out, talk about setup, talk about pricing, we'll make a phone call from the watch and we're going to test kind of see how the signal is as well. So I promise you it's going to be a really great video. So let's shoot in and look at that box. Okay, so here we are. Fresh, brand new, proper raw unboxing. So we'll take the cellophane off just here and then slide the watch out just there. There we are. So we've got something here. Um, TickWatch Pro 3, quick guide. Quick guide on how to set up and what all the different bits are on the watch. And there we are, got a uh, tick watch in the cardboard box just there on the front. Open that up and there we go. There we go. So you've got a real nice screen on here. The um, resolution is 454 by 454 and it's an AMOLED screen and it's um, a dual screen as well. So you've got uh, your AMOLED screen on there and also an LCD screen. So when you're not using the AMOLED screen, it'll just flick into the LCD screen just to save the battery just there. So we'll come back to that in just a second. We've got product safety information, We've got some Mobvoi membership benefits, some silicon gel, and also the uh, USB charger just here as well. So just going back to the watch itself just here. So this bezel just here is um, stainless steel, and then the sides just then are plastic. Let's take that off just there and we'll turn the watch on in just a minute. We'll give it a bit of charge first, and then we'll have a little look at that screen, and we'll show you how that screen looks. And I've already reviewed this watch, or the previous version, the Pro 3 GPS, just a few weeks ago, and the screen's really, really nice. It's worth checking out that review as well if you, uh, you want to just there. So the watch straps, these are silicon. They are quick release watch straps as well. So you can actually use any 22 millimeter watch straps on these that are quick release. Got your two buttons just here. It is touch screen as well. Um, the, the watch strap itself, it looks, um, it's kind of got a leather kind of finish to it with the stitching just here, but it's a really nice soft uh, silicon just there. You've got your heart rate sensor just on the back just here as well. And this will actually measure um, your SpO2 as well and look at your uh, oxygen levels, which is really good. The charger itself, just kind of magnets onto the side just there, clips, it's a very, very positive clip just there. You definitely know that that is charging just there. And then on the side just here, you've got your speaker just there. So you can listen to your phone calls, you can listen to Google or your music, etc. And then on the side just there, you've got your microphone. So uh, you can pick up um, what you're saying. So the TickWatch Pro 3 LTE is very similar to the watch I recently reviewed, the TickWatch Pro 3 GPS but this one has an LTE signal on it. So long-term evolution, uh, it's 4G or almost as fast as 4G, but definitely a lot faster than 3G. What it means is you can go out with your watch without your phone. So you can make phone calls through the watch, you can use Google Assistant through the watch, 
You've even got an emergency option on this watch as well. So if you were in a, an area that's got signal, because you always need that, that signal, obviously, that reception, but you've also got the option on here of sending the emergency services an alert with your exact location on as well. So I think the watch is really cool. Say for instance, you're a runner and you just want that kind of backup of if there's an emergency, you can make contact with somebody, then you can do that with this. Uh, it might be that you use your phone a lot and sometimes the battery goes dead because you're constantly on the camera or whatever it might be, then you've got this as a backup. I don't know, you might want to travel light to a theme park or something like that and you want to leave your phone at home where well, you can. Um, th there's, there's plenty of reasons why you'd want to have uh, LTE on your wrist just there. I also think it's just living in the future, isn't it? It's just pretty cool to, to have that facility on your arm as well. So pricing wise, basically how that works is I now pay seven pounds a month extra um, to basically share my data and call plan with my watch. The phone number is exactly the same as well. So if I leave my watch and uh, my phone at home, someone calls me, it'll come through on my watch on exactly the same number just there as well. So setup was pretty easy. Um, it took about 14 hours um, from when I went to the Vodafone website and put the eSIM details in. I then got a text from Vodafone, like the one on the screen just there. And from there, basically, I just had an alert on my phone that said my watch was downloading my eSIM. So it was as simple as that. The watch in the UK is £329.99. Uh, in Europe, it's going to be 360. At the moment, it's only available in two other countries apart from the UK. That's Germany and Spain, but more are going to be added to the list just there in the future. So let's have a little look at the watch up close and look at some specs on the watch as well. So let's make a phone call with the watch. And this is literally the first phone call I'm gonna be making. So um, let's go to my phone just here and turn off uh, Wi-Fi and turn off Bluetooth just there so I know that none of that is going to be interfering with it. And we're just gonna go on the watch just here and I'm gonna press the top left button just here. And I'm gonna select on phone and then I'm gonna to go to Baby Babes, just there. Oh, there we are, can you hear it? Is she going to answer? You all right? Yeah, how's it going? Are you angry again, are you all right? Yeah, I was just seeing if the watch worked before I called you to see if the watch worked so I could demo it on my video. Oh, uh, okay. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, fine. Oh, brilliant, all right. I love you loads. Bye. See you later. Bye bye bye. Bye bye bye. So there you are. That was literally the very first phone call I made with the watch. Uh, it was raw. I like to do my videos as raw as possible. Uh, the clarity was pretty good, especially considering um, this is an old English house with pretty thick brick walls in here as well. So the next thing I want to do is push the boundary a little bit on the reception. So we're going to go outside of the city. We're going to go in the car and see how good the signal is when we get further out into the countryside. So I've jumped in the car. I've traveled as far as I can into the countryside to get some really poor reception on my phone. As you can see just there, it's pretty poor signal. It's just on two bars at the moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to call the talking clock. I'm just going to keep the top right button down, talk to Google, and we'll listen to that talking clock just there. Call one, two, three. Calling one, two, three. So this is going to give us the uh, talking clock now. 
Oh, talking clock's ringing. At the third stroke, the time will be 1.07pm and 10 seconds. So there we are, the TicWatch Pro 3 LTE. The only thing I can't really comment on at the moment is the kind of like battery life over the space of a week when you're making a few phone calls on it. But I will update that in the description below. So just check that out just now as well. If you've enjoyed the video and you like my style, then please press subscribe really help the channel grow and you're just going to get loads more great content in the future i make tech videos and running videos so if that sounds like you then you know what to do um if you've got any questions just put them in the comments if you've liked the video then obviously press like as well really appreciate it and i will see you on the next video thank you very much